it's me, Renee. I'm back. And when you're watching this, it's Easter. Happy Easter! And yeah, today I suppose I could just take a break, but I'm kind of yeah, wanting to do Vida ish, or like at least try it to do like with your most days in April. So yeah, I'm pretty the this surprise. Uh, so yeah, today when you sing it, it's Easter. Uh, Easter day is Eve, or it's called Is Eve. So yeah, and today simply decided to go with. Books that have yellow on the covers because yellow is kind of the easier color. So yeah, uh, and also yeah, these are all books that have red, not books that I have not read, but with yeah, all books that have red, so I can talk a bit about them. I'm not sure how much I want to talk about them. Yeah, let's see. But yeah, first we have Manus and Mutiny by Gail Carrier. So this is the last book in the Finishing School series. It's a twin quartet. Yeah, quartet by four books in the series. It's uh, set on uh, uh, in a spy school for teens, uh, and yeah, it's just very fun. Also, it's set in a world where vampires and werewolves and all that those pumpkin knights basically like spies, but with a bit of supernatural shake up this series. Uh, it's a wire series. It's kind. Of, it's part of a universe. So I suppose, I mean, you can't start with this one. This is not the first that's published, but it's actually the first that's uh, the first chrono chronologically series. So, yeah, you can start with this one if you want. Well, not this one, because this is the last one, but yeah, you can start with this series. Yeah, Manners and Mutiny is the last in this series. The whole series has kind of like two word uh, names. First one is whole series. Yeah, whole series. The first is called Object and Espionage. Second is Courtesies and Conspiracies, and third is Waistcoats and Weaponry. So, yeah. So they all kind of have the same style, where they have one of the characters and then background. This one having yellow background, and uh, yeah. And then we have another Gale character, Imprudence. This being the second, as it says there, very handy. Uh, second in the Custard Protocol series. It is the third series that's still published. Yeah, the first series in this universe, the first series that's still published. Uh, third of main novels. She has like some short, shorter stories, but yeah, this is kind of a novel length story. Uh, and yeah, it's steampunk. Uh, this one, as you might have guessed, they go to Egypt. Um, there's all sorts of shenanigans and things that happen. And if you like romance, if you like adventure, if you like uh, feminism, Check out this series. Then we have The Duke Heist by Erica Ridley. Uh, this is the Ridley. This is the first in this series. I checked it out a few years ago. I checked it out. I bought it a few years ago. I think I bought maybe yeah the year after like the canal. But yeah, I don't know. The cover has that like very much yellow uh, style to the cover. It's not like completely yellow. Like I would say like this is more yellow yellow, but this is, has like a yellow tone to it. And yeah, it's it's not like a long book, but it has like a very funny um action and stuff. Uh, it has great romance, great characters. It's just at least for me, it's one of those books that I have no complaints at all. It's just amazing. While I was reading this the first time, well, actually, I haven't read it. Uh, oh, while I was reading this, I had a smile on my face the whole time because it was so so amazing. And then we have. A Perilous Undertaking, this one being the second Veronica Speedwell series uh, book. And yes, was this? It's not like it's not like super gold yellow like this one. So was again, I'm using this one as an example. But it has like a yellowish style to it. Um, like yeah, the whole background is yellowish. And yeah, this is a historical mystery. If you like kind of, that kind of stuff, uh, it's very funny. And this one has like secret societies aspect to it, and that's kind of yeah. I really mean, like yeah, I like that aspect to it, and uh, yeah, just a very very good time. So check out it if if you if you like historical, a uh, little mystery, but also to laugh. You have to re pick up the series. You have to. And then we have uh model misfit or geek girl model misfit geek girl being the series model misfit being the title of the book this one being the second book in this uh 
uh, series. It's a six book series. It is as was well all that model who's misfit. She also she has autism, so she struggles with the world. Um, and uh, yeah, it kind of she encounters different situations which are both in some ways heartbreaking, but sometimes it's quite funny. And uh, yeah, she's a great, great series. Highly recommend it. Every book has also takes place in a different country. She can she goes traveling for each book because of modeling job. In this one, she goes to Japan, and um, yeah. And then we have It Only Happens in the Movies by Holly Bourne. This is a YA book, uh, and yeah, it starts with like a girl. She's been um, dumped by her boyfriend, and she's kind of trying to get over it and she kind of starts to analyze rom-coms and she gets a job in a movie theater and then kind of like yeah around that kind of style and then you you slowly see what happens to the what happened to the boyfriend and i suppose this book is not a happy-go-lucky book but it is a book i would recommend so yeah and then we have the secret chapter by genevieve kogman so this is a book in the invisible library series a series with magical libraries and dragons and oh my, all that kind of stuff, like conspiracies and lots of, yeah, great stuff like that. This is, oh, it doesn't say here, I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, so it's, I think it might be a second book, no, it's not a second book. It is, ba -ba -da -ba -da. it is the sixth story in the sixth book in this series. And the series as a whole is a eight book series. So yeah. I suppose not pick up this one because if you haven't read it you kind of need to. I suppose in this series you can pick up the second book. But like this one, uh, the sixth book, I feel like you kind of have jumped too far into the uh, series by then. So yeah. If you but I suppose if you have read the rest of the series, also check out this one. And if not, check out the first book, which is called just the new, new the invisible library. And then we have a Jolly Foul Play by Robin Stevens. This is a Murder Most Unladylike series book. Uh, and it's a middle grade, yeah, I want to say middle grade uh, series uh, where you have uh, two teens who solve mysteries in the 1930s. And yeah, very funny, great uh, kind of mysteries. If you if you like Agatha Christie, check out this universe the series and um yeah uh, then we have more weird things customer stay in bookstores which is just kind of a collection of anecdotes and your small quotes like smaller and longer quotes from bookstores all around the world and also funny painting and paintings um drawings and yeah it has yellow on it as you can see and um uh, Highly recommend it if you love books, but I suppose also like if you if you have like a decent like I suppose some of these you kinda of have to know a bit about books to understand why they're funny. But sometimes it's like people who come into book bookstore and say like, Do you have a job for my ten year old uh, nephew or for my ten year old grandchild? And it's like, Does he like to read? No, but he needs a job. I'm like, you can't go around commenting jobs that that's not so yeah. People also be crazy, so I suppose that is something everyone can laugh off all day. So yeah. And now we have "Life's Too Short" by Abby Jimenez. This one being the uh... yeah, yeah, sorry. It, this is the third in this companion series. It's a companion series of three a trilogy. Well, I suppose the third could be in third and quarter, but yeah, it's a trilogy a companion, a romance companion. So like you see the different couples. Uh, in this book as well, because you see the couples from different from other books, but you also you don't have to read them together. And uh, yeah, this has health uh, representation, but also like traveling the world representation and a cute dog and uh, yeah, lots of nice stuff in it really. And then we have I'm only in it for the parking by Liam Ridley or the Lost Voice Guy. And the Lost Voice Guy, this guy, he's a British comedian, and the thing is that he's, he doesn't have a voice, but he's still like 
he has like thoughts and stuff, but he doesn't. He can't doesn't have a voice. So he has like apps where he writes down his notes, and then a computer kind of does his jokes. And yeah, this book uh, it's not long, but yeah, I would say it's quite a good book about being different in the UK, being uh, disabled in the UK, and I suppose just being a person in the UK. And yeah, highly recommend it. Uh, then we have The Singles Table by Sarah Desai, a rom-com set around the Indian American uh, called Indian American society, society, Indian American world, and uh, it's kind of enemies to lovers. No, it's not enemies. I suppose they they banter and then they become lovers and yeah, and yeah. Uh, so far, I just read this book by her, but I really very much want to read more by Sarah Desai. She has like four, five more books. She has more books, so yeah. Sorry. And then we have The Gunko by Stephen Rowley. So I suppose the top here is sunny, or like yellowy. And then the bottom is, you know, blue. But yeah, I would say it's quite a yellowy cover, cover so yeah. And it came out two years ago, and it's all about uh, a summer, and a summer during. Um, we, we, when Patrick, the main character, that guy, he is a gay actor and he has to take care of his nieces and nephews because circumstances. And yeah, it's quite a funny book, but it's also kind of emotional because circumstances, I'm not, I suppose, I can't say it. In the beginning of the book, the, the mom died, so it's kind of like a, a, a thread line, through line of like sorrow and grief. But yeah, I would say, all in all, it's a quite it's a very good book. So. Check it out if you into that, that kind of books sometimes. And yeah, and yeah, I know I said earlier that I only have books that I, that I uh, that I haven't read that I have read. I actually have one TBR book here. Several? No, I have one. It is Wild Blood by Lauren Blackwood. So yeah, I haven't read this one, but yes, very yellowy. And uh, it's set in an island in Caribbean. But I think it's like a, no, yeah, it's set in like a Jamaica, but like a Jamaica with magic and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that sounds to me cool. I just, yeah, I'm picking it up yet, but yeah, want to pick it up soon, soonish. So yeah. And then we have Sandy's Cross, which I suppose you can kind of imagine is a Norwegian book. I suppose it might be out in different languages in a few years because it's gotten to like some uh, some attention overseas and stuff. And yeah, it's quite funny. Uh, well, quite funny. It's really just a very good book in general. It's um, I wouldn't say it's a middle grade book. Maybe it's like it's a young uh, YA book. I would say probably more. Uh, because the the main character is, is fourteen at the beginning of the uh, story, and then. Also, was the story takes us over a year, so yeah, she, she's fought, and the first one is fourteen. No, I think she's fourteen, and then in the end, she's like fifteen. Like, yeah, more or less that. Because she is in that Y eight age, age, which like it's more like first kisses and first love. It's not like first sex and exams stuff like that. It's kind of more like yeah, the beginning of like, uh, teen dumb and that way. Like it's first kisses, first love, and stuff like that. It's yeah, it's a sweet story about first love, about communication, about like the first book in the series, which is as well. Yeah, sorry, it is. This is this is the first book in the series. It takes place during the summer, and it just kind of gives me very much summer vibes. So it's just like walking around, eating ice cream all day, and just enjoying the sun, and then yeah, all those kinds of nice stuff, and then finding a boy to kiss, and uh, yeah. And then we have Take a Hint, Danny Brown, by Tali Hubert. Well, this is the second book, a book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. And yeah, I very much enjoyed this book. I think pretty much everyone has read this already. Well, not everyone, but yeah. If you, I suppose if you have heard of it, haven't read it, check it out. If you haven't heard of it for some reason, very good series book, so check it out. And then we have Udyr by Christine Tofte. And as you can imagine, it's a Norwegian book. And I kind of like, because this is a Norwegian book, it's based, it's a, well, it's a book, fiction book, all about Norse mythology. 
Princess, focusing on Loki, Thor, or Odin, or Ellen of the Gods. It's a book that focuses on all of the creatures from um, from Norse mythology. So it's all about uh, the different yeah animals, magical animals for Norse mythology. It's on a farm where all these animals live, and yeah, it's yeah, it's quite fun. It's not like huge book. It's like two hundred pages. No, it's like three hundred pages. So no, quite no, very big at all. And um, yeah, you kind of like get way too much little to talk about in general. Yeah, of course, I haven't read it myself no, after I read it the first time, but yeah, I very much enjoyed it, and um, yeah. Then we have Spirits in the Park by Scott uh, Meebus. So this isn't yellow-yellow, but I would say it's yellowish, so yeah. This is the second book, yeah, second book in a um, trilogy, in a great trilogy, where it's kind of, uh, I suppose in a way, it's kind of like the... Percy Jackson, I suppose, you always say that, but like, okay, so it's kind of like uh, the Percy Jackson style where you have like kids who discover this, like this whole new world. I suppose that's kind of every other fancy, but like a whole new world of gods. But in this one, it's not like Roman gods or Norse gods. No, in this one, historical persons important to Manhattan become gods. So in this one, Alexander Hamilton is an immortal god. So yeah, I really like that original con uh, con content and like take on that idea, like gods, but like, but not the not like a pantheon, but like historical people who are important. And yeah, uh, this is the second one. I I think yeah, actually the first one I actually read from the library because I don't think I have the first one somewhere else. Yeah, and yeah, so you see the second one and the first one and second one, third one here. I've never actually gotten hold of the third one. I very much want to finish this series, but yeah, haven't, so yeah. And then last but not least, we have Arus Shah and the City of Gold by Roshan and Chokshi. So in this one, they, they yeah, they find the City of Gold, so I suppose that's why it's so yellowy and golden in color. And yeah, it's one of the Arus Shah series books, so you gotta love that. And uh, yeah, I suppose I can't really say that much more about it because Everyone knows Arusha is amazing. You probably have heard, already heard lots of good things about her and the series. And uh, yeah, it's just, I suppose, just kind of to give my two pens, two, two pens, this two ideas. I very, very much enjoy this book myself as well. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Also, hope you have a nice Easter. Bye.